Okay, how many of you are from uh, CSC background? Okay, EDC, electronics. So, I mean, electronics guys, you may be um, finding us uh, a little bit um, familiar. Like, um, have you used MATLAB? You all use MATLAB? <coughs> okay, so, uh, I'll tell you a story because uh, you're kind of bored. So I'll tell you a little story. Be relaxed. Okay. So, wait. So, am I audible? Okay. So, the other day when uh, I was actually bored, so um, I was going through Quora. So there was a um, question like, uh, what are the serious consequences one has faced due to clicking the I agree button without reading that? Uh, <laughs> that. So um, one person, like the one answer was, uh, his friend uh, was uh, doing uh, a, pro a final year project. So they were using MATLAB 2011. And uh, obviously, we all have our versions of Mr. Chang's customized license of MATLAB. So they also used that. And uh, uh, while presenting, what they did is uh, downloaded a trial trial version and uh, did their stuff. And finally, the project turned out to be good. And they presented a, a published a paper on that. Uh, and their uh, professor uh, suggested them to um, go to IIT Bombay and uh, publish it. So people here also like that. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, a MATLAB guy was also there. So he came and uh, saw that thing and appreciated it. So um, and inquired about uh, uh, that person's name. I went to his offices and searched in the database. He couldn't find. So and then he found in the uh, trial database um, that he has a trial version. So um, in the trial version, in the uh, uh, like the user license agreement, they have written you can use it only for your personal purpose, not for publishing something or like that. So th what they did, they um, sent a notification to their house. Like they have to pay a fine of four lakhs. Okay, so uh, otherwise, uh, if they don't pay the fine, then there will be legal consequences. That person cried, and uh, because they, he was from a very uh, modest background, and his father actually um, requested those guys like, uh, I mean, please spare us. Uh, so. Um, uh, the officers they actually looked into their code and uh, found that it's really brilliant. And uh, after so much of uh, uh, like negotiation, they offered it uh, like you can buy one license with uh, excellent discount at thirty thousand rupees. So after that, they settled on that thirty thousand rupees. So the point here I'm trying to make is. Like we all have, we all have projects uh, which use that uh, block-based designs and all. Okay, so you may have a very excellent uh, algorithm, but if you are using such kind of change version of uh, MATLAB, so you have to be really careful. So we have one alternative. Like you have uh, heard of Scilab, so you will be hearing it much. Actually, if you haven't heard. Uh, because this is a uh, the Scilab community trying to do is uh, giving you a open source version of MATLAB. It's not that powerful at, as MATLAB, but trust me, your project will be done in that. Okay. So um, here we are uh, presenting. Uh, like you all have heard of Arduino, right? You have programmed one. How many haven't touched one? Like one Arduino. Okay, that's it. We have a <laughs> so um, like <coughs> because Arduino is very um, I mean user friendly and uh, you all know that right. 
So what you are trying to do is, um, like, let me tell you an example. Like you are um, running a, a face recognition algorithm in your um, <coughs> machine, okay, uh, and. Uh, um, you want to open a door or some kind of access system to that. So you need, you need an uh, you need to act, activate the actuator, right? So uh, using Arduino actually you can uh, do that very easily. Huh? So um, if you use the block based modeling and all, your last block will be a Arduino. Like you are giving a yes or no command or a binary one and zero. So according to that you will be turning on and off. Uh, this is just an example. We can do much more stuff. Like uh, there is a robot in here, and it has to clean that room. So uh, you don't know uh, what is what is there, uh, like obstacles and all. So you'll run your robot. You'll send that um, localization and mapping data to your um, Scylla, and you run your algorithm of minimum path or uh, there are a lot of algorithms, heuristic algorithms and all, and then send uh, that path uh, code to that um, robot. So what it will do is, uh, you, that way you will be in an unknown terrain also, you can find the optimized path. Are you getting? Okay. So, so the project is uh, basically about uh, um, like uh, doing much more experimentation with this, like uh, um, doing uh, much more complicated stuff with uh, interfacing Scilab and Arduino taking the data and uh, uh, doing plots and algorithms running all that so one uh, one uh, like what what you can do uh, we have a one uh, one thing like it will take your brain uh, mm, web data and will um, plot a graph so that we can know are you disturbed or not like are you composed or you are thinking of uh, something else back home right so Stuff like that. So, uh, um, you find it interesting? No? Yes. Is it doable or I am telling you another story? What do you feel? If you think it is doable, then we can uh, talk. Okay. So, we uh, actually uh, we do all those hardware and software stuff uh, in our lab. Basically, it is integrated development lab. So integrate hardware and software. So if you find it interesting, then you are the right candidate for us. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll ask you one question. So like, uh, there is a problem. Uh, you have to build a hardware or a software to solve that. So how will you decide, like you want to uh, um, solve it by using hardware or you want to uh, use it by writing a software. How will you decide it? I mean, there are not no uh, right and wrong questions you can answer. If you are awake. Have we selected the wrong people? Come on. Okay. But okay, th that is fine. Any other? Depends on the application. Depends on the application. Like, <coughs> which would be more helpful? If it's a hardware one, you would be wanting more more data from the something of that sort. Software cannot like you can incorporate more things in software, but in hardware you need to have more things to have. You want to incorporate more things. Okay.
So, like I said, uh, there are no right and wrong questions. You all are right. So let me give you a, uh, a little more clue. Like I want a device uh, to be made, one lakh copies of that. Okay. So um, the, uh, the same what I can do on a part of hardware in that, or I can do uh, writing a piece of code in that. So how will you go for it? Like uh, you want to make a hardware, or you want to make a software? software. Thanks. <laughs> 